The age-old battle between size and power in desktop computing is finally being challenged. Can a mini PC really take on workstations and gaming towers all by itself? Today, we're reviewing the B-Link GTI 15 Ultra, a mini powerhouse built on Intel's latest Arrow Lake Ultra 9 285H CPU with next-gen AI and connectivity. But does this tiny machine deliver real-world power when used as a standalone system? Let's find out. Before we unbox this handheld powerhouse, a quick thank you to today's sponsor, keysfan.com. If you're planning to upgrade your PC or simply move on to Windows 11, since Windows 10 is reaching its end of life, or maybe you just need Microsoft software, you don't have to break the bank. Keysfan offers genuine, official Windows and Office keys at unbeatable prices with instant online activation and 24-7 customer support, 365 days a year. Right now, you can get Windows 11 Pro for as low as $15 with my exclusive coupon code TAME50, or grab the bundle that has a Windows 11 license and an Office 2021 Pro for just $35 using TAME62. You'll find other software bundles available too, so make sure to check it out for even bigger savings. Check the sale link in the description and pinned comment below. Add your favorite products to your cart and use those codes at checkout to save a huge 50 or 62%. Pay easily via PayPal or credit card. Why pay full price when you can boost your system's performance and security for less with KeysFan? The B-Link GTI 15 Ultra arrives in compact, no-fuss packaging, very secure, no wasted space. Inside the box, you'll find the GTI 15 Ultra PC itself, a quick start guide and some instructions, a two pin power cord, and an HDMI cable. This device immediately stands out for its all metal chassis, plenty of ventilation, and subtle pro look. The lightweight frame feels sturdy with a premium fingerprint embedded power button right on top. Measuring just 16 centimeters square and barely over five centimeters tall, the GTI 15 Ultra truly fits just about anywhere on your desk, behind a monitor, even inside a tight home theater setup. No RGB flash, just functional vents, a clever dust-proof mesh on the bottom, and handy front-facing ports. Build quality is top-notch solid, no flex, and the finish resists fingerprints and scratches. Let's break down the specs that really matter for this form factor. First up, the CPU. We've got an Intel Core Ultra 9 285H with 16 cores and 16 threads, reaching up to 5.4 gigahertz on boost. For graphics, there's an Intel Arc 140T integrated GPU, handling visuals with ease. AI performance is boosted by a dedicated neural processing unit delivering 99 tops for fast local AI tasks. When it comes to memory, you get 64 gigabytes of DDR5, and you can upgrade all the way to 128 gigabytes. Storage isn't a problem either. There's a speedy one terabyte NVMe SSD included with dual slots supporting up to eight terabytes. For networking, enjoy dual 10 gigabit ethernet ports and blazing fast Wi-Fi 7. Security is covered with fingerprint login, making it enterprise ready. Cooling is handled by a vapor chamber and a silent fan, so nothing's louder than 32 decibels. And finally, it all runs on a built-in 145 watt power supply unit for stable desktop performance. Disassembly is relatively simple until you get to the power supply. There are a lot of tiny screws with different sizes to keep track of, so make sure you take notes of them. You get easy access to the dual down-firing speakers, but if you are looking to get to the NVMe slots, it's a bit more challenging as you have to remove the speaker's assembly and the power supply to get to them. Connection options in the front include USB 3.2 10 gigabits, SD card slot, USB-C 10 gigabits, 3.5 millimeter audio jack, a power button with fingerprint sensor built in, and an array of four microphones. For the back, there's the AC plug, USB-C 40 gigabits display capable, a 3.5 millimeter audio headphone combo jack, HDMI port, a DisplayPort 1.4a, reaching up to 4K 144Hz, dual 10 gigabit LAN ports, and dual USB 3.2 10 gigabits ports. Everyday use is snappy. And this is my experience coming from a Beast desktop PC running a 7950X and a RTX 4090, Windows 11 Pro boots in seconds. 
Web browsing, 4K video streaming, large spreadsheet multitasking, and video conferencing are seamless thanks to the Ultra 9 processor and super fast memory. The fingerprint reader works instantly for secure logins, and the system stays cool and quiet, even under load. B-Link's vapor chamber cooling system keeps the GTI 15 Ultra temperatures in check under full load, and fan noise under 34 decibels even with sustained heavy workloads or gaming. The system sits about two feet away from me on the table and I never hear its fan at all. Power draw idles at around 47 watts and peaks around 90 watts. When off, it sips power from the wall at 6 watts. The performance of this system is definitely impressive with these numbers. The system has no issue scrubbing timeline in 4K or 1080p. Rendering time for a 4-minute video in YouTube 4K preset took 23 minutes. Keep in mind that this is without upscaling. It took about 19 minutes for the same video to render in the 1080p YouTube preset. This system by itself can play games at medium settings on the integrated ARC 140T and with XESS on, but don't expect high frame rates or eye candy graphics. High-end AAA gaming at Ultra? You'll want an eGPU for that. But for daily light gaming, this PC should hold its own. All test results are average of multiple runs. XESS is turned on in titles where available with frame gen off. System is running the 32.0.101.8247 drivers released on October 23rd of 2025. Since this system is equipped with only 64 gigabytes of RAM, meaning only 32 gigabytes is allocated to the GPU, I was only able to test it up to a 32 billion parameters model. Anything larger cannot be fully loaded into the GPU RAM, making inference speed completely unusable. But for some light LLM conversation and a decent size context length, it is still a very usable local AI machine. Let's go over the key pros and cons. First, the pros. It's incredibly compact and quiet, so it fits just about any workspace. You get a top-tier CPU and memory combo, perfect for multitasking and high productivity. Dual 10 gigabit ethernet means your networking is future-proof. It's easy to upgrade the RAM and storage if you ever need more. Quick Windows Hello login with a fingerprint sensor, which is super convenient. Local AI and voice features really shine, making work from home and creative tasks even better. And the thermals and noise levels set a new standard. They're some of the best you'll find in a mini PC. Now for the cons. The integrated art graphics are great for work, indie games, or esports, but if you want full desktop level AAA gaming, you'll need to pair it with an eGPU. Right now, there's only two main configurations available outside of China, so bare bones or more affordable versions might be hard to find globally. The price is up there with some desktop and high end laptop options, so it's really best suited to power users, not casual shoppers. And finally, the documentation is minimal out of the box, which is typical for mini PCs, so you might end up visiting forums if you need help. Is the B-Link GTI 15 Ultra worth it as a standalone system? If you want the most powerful, upgradable, and compact mini PC on the market with ultra-fast networking, whisper-quiet cooling, huge storage, and surprising productivity and light gaming power, this is it. For students, creators, office pros, and home lab tinkerers, the GTI 15 Ultra is an unrivaled desk-friendly solution that can do almost everything except ultra graphics gaming. And if you ever want to go bigger, you still have that eGPU option. And for those who are looking for more AI power, then take a look at mini PCs that are equipped with the Ryzen AI Max Plus 395, some of which I have already reviewed on the channel. Thanks for joining me for this deep dive on the B-Link GTI 15 Ultra. I will be returning for a round two of this mini PC with the dock soon, so stay tuned. For more mini PC reviews, real world benchmarks, and creative workspace tips, hit like and subscribe. Have questions about compact computing or want to see more benchmarks? Drop a comment below. I'll see you next time.